Good morning everybody, thanks for joining me again. Well, I'm back on Dartmoor and I'm here to do some woodland photography. So I'm just going to walk down from uh, Dartmeet, if you recognise it, downstream to the woodlands and to see what I can find. Well, I'm normally out earlier than this. It's already gone eight o'clock, so I'm already joined by some other walkers. And I've uh, decided to stick with the woodland photography today. There's always plenty to see along the River Dart. Lots of wildlife, so it's, it's easy to get distracted. Um, but always good to just concentrate on one thing. Also, it hasn't rained significantly for weeks so uh, the river levels are really low so I don't think there's any really good shots of the water. I brought my long lens along just in case I do see some wildlife but uh, let's go into the woodland and uh, see what I can find shall we? As you can see, the further you get along this footpath, the more wooded it becomes and the more gnarly. Lots of lovely boulders and the trees then struggle to grow between them so you get all these lovely twisted shapes. Okay, let's keep going. I'll try and find a quiet section of the footpath which I know is further along here and then start scouting around for some nice compositions. As I said it really is difficult to uh, resist getting the long lens out. Just walk past a, a grey wagtail and then a dipper flies by There's still plenty to see. Well, of course, I couldn't resist and had to take a few photographs of the birds. So I'll let you enjoy these before we move in to the woodland. Well, I've made it to the part of the woodland where I think the uh, best opportunity for photographs are. As you can see, there's some lovely twisted oak trees here growing out of the Clitter boulder field, as they call it in Devon. Let's uh, see what shapes I can find. I've been wandering around this old fallen log for ages. It really is quite interesting, but struggling to find a composition that fits together with you know, all the right elements, a bit foreground, the log itself, and an interesting background. I don't want to get any highlights in from the sky. I quite like this shape here. Let me show you in the back of camera. 
So I really quite like this shape. But I'm struggling to find anything in the foreground of interest. And if I shoot along it to try and get those uh, other branches in, then you get a lot of sky. As you can see, it's quite an interesting piece of wood and with some uh, local, don't know if you can see the uh, local resident, there's a, what looks like a funnel web. But it's really nice with all these uh, mosses and lichens. So I've come round to the other side of the log and this could be a better shot. Got some foreground interest down here with these ferns that lead you up along the moss. And then in the background, there's some, where are they? These trees here maybe. Just about getting everything sort of composed. Maybe a portrait. Let me give that a go. Okay, well I think I've found the first composition. I can show you in the back of camera. So, as I said, I've got these um, ferns down here and I'm actually focusing on those. And I've got the aperture at f11 and I'm hoping that will get uh, at least the uh, most of this log in focus as well. There's a few things I'm not quite sure about. I don't really like the uh, light uh, section of log down here where people walked across it. I can darken it down I guess in post-processing but shame to do that. And of course there's these uh, trees over here. I'm not quite sure about those. There's not enough balance between here, so the, sort of the left and the right hand side of the shot. Unfortunately I left my polarising filter at home or it's on another lens somewhere. So I've had to put on my variable ND and uh, polarizer combined filter. It's uh, not as good as the other one but uh, it will do now just to um, just to make those uh, colours pop in the woodland. Okay, let's take the shot, shall we? I'm at F11, ISO 100. I've got the polarising filter turned to make the greens really pop out of the photograph. Let's just make sure that's in the right place. Now yeah, about there. Because it's still quite dim in the forest that's given me a one second exposure at the moment bear in mind your eyes adjust to the uh, dull light so uh, don't be fooled by what you see on the back of camera here always check that histogram right two second timer on I've already focused down on the ferns and let's see what that looks like Well, I'm not sure I'm totally happy with that shot yet. I think um, I might focus stack it, so I'll focus on the ferns and also focus along the log as well. And just to make sure everything's in focus. What I also might do is just try some different exposures as well. I might just darken the shot slightly. I can see some bright parts of the uh, top of this log. Not sure what they're gonna be like in post-processing. Okay, I'm gonna take a few shots and uh, I'll show you the final image in a moment.
Okay, let's move on from that log and uh, see what else we can find, shall we? Don't know if you can see this on camera, but there's a little bit of light starting to come through now. And as long as it doesn't get too uh, harsh, that will add to the photographs. Lovely. This section through here with these overhanging branches is just great. Well, I think I've found another composition, but really not what I was expecting. Not sure if you can see this, the sun's gone in a little bit, but uh, there's these trees here. And I don't know if it really shows up well on the camera, but um, there, there's a rock face in the middle. There's boulders down the bottom here and lots of boulders leading up the hill. But I just really like the way that this one here and this one leads back up to here. And there's another tree growing out of the top of the uh, rocks there. Now, it will just be this section in the middle here that I'm looking at. And I'm going to try probably to exclude the trees that are over here. And uh, as you can see, the sun's coming in and out, so that might uh, give me a little bit of a problem. But let's, let's set the shot up in the camera and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the uh, shot. I'm still not sure about it. Let's show you in the back of camera. I am going to have to wait for uh, the sun to go in because there were some really bright highlights at the top which I'm trying to exclude. That's roughly the shot as you can see. So I've got uh, these two trunks here leading up to that one and then this one. And what will lead you high up the hill. And uh, well, let's give that a go, shall we? So I'm going to be quick before the sun comes out. I'm going to bracket this again, so this is at half a second, f11, ISO 100. To start with, I'm focused in on the boulder in the foreground. Okay, I'm next going to focus on the next tree and then the next tree. And as you can see from the histogram, there is some highlights just at the top of the shot, which I'm going to have to crop out, I think. Okay, let's have a look at the shot, shall we? Well, you might be able to hear on the camera there's a little bit of a breeze now which is moving the ferns around so to be honest no point in, point in using the tripod so I'm just uh, going to have the camera handheld and I've, uh, I'm bracketing the exposure a stop over and a stop under and uh, using the lowest uh, shutter speed I can probably about 80th of a second so I can still hand hold the shots and get them sharp but um, I don't want the ISO to be too high anyway let's see what else we can find Well, I spent a good hour scouting around looking for more images and took lots of photographs. But this was the only one I thought good enough to include in this video. I just really like the way this branch almost seems to levitate and uh, fills the framed 
from right to left. A few things could be better. Just on the left hand side there's the uh, tree near the edge of the frame which I could have cloned out. And I have brightened the background so it leads your eye into the distance. But I really like this shot and I think it really uh, sort of represents this small part of a Dartmoor, Dartmoor woodland. Hope you enjoy it. Well, I've really enjoyed this morning in the woodland taking these shots and uh, just seeing what I can find. But uh, I think I'm going to end the video there. I've actually been out and filmed two vlogs this morning. The one you saw last week about camera bags and then this one in the woodland. So uh, most of my batteries are starting to run low. So before they give up, I'll say goodbye. Thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost anything. And hopefully I'll see you again next week. But for now, cheerio.